understand the arrangement of western differential pulley block. The top block is connected to the fixed support and for the bottom block is connected to the load W. If we observe the top block, it is having two wheels with different diameters. Larger wheel is having diameter capital D and smaller wheel is having diameter small d. Now these two blocks are connected with a single endless chain. Now we will understand this connection. We have to start this endless chain from this top block and it should start from the smaller wheel. So I will show here the direction of this chain. Then we have to pass this chain over the larger wheel. Now the same chain we have to pass from this, we have to pass over this bottom pulley. So we will take the same chain and here we have to pass over this bottom pulley and then we have to connect the other end to the smaller wheel at the top. So here is the start point and here is the end point. Now we will find out velocity ratio. So here load W is connected at the bottom pulley and at the top here is the chain we have to apply the effort. Now we will understand with the help of this diagram. So this is the larger wheel and here is the smaller wheel. Now if we observe the chain, so on the right hand side chain is passing through the smaller wheel. So I will show here the part of the chain. Now on the left hand side the chain is passing through this larger wheel. So I will show here. So this is the part of the chain. Now if we observe this diagram here is the load W. Now this load W will try to move in the downward direction. So tension is created in this chain. Now this load W is divided into two parts for the each side of this chain. So we will show here this tension is created in the opposite direction. So I will show the direction. And this tension is equal to W by 2 on each side. So here is W by 2 and here is W by 2. So this tension on the lower pulley block is in the upward direction. So the same tension is created at this top pulley block but in the opposite direction. So I will show here the opposite direction and it is related to the top pulley block. So it is also equal to W by 2 and here is W by 2. Now effort we have to apply at this chain. So this part is from this larger V. So I will show here the same direction and we have to apply effort. So I will say here effort is P. Now if we observe this diagram, so we have to show here W by 2 and W by 2. So it is on the side of top pulley block. Direction is in the downward direction. Now we will take the moment of all the forces about the axis of the top block. So axis of the top block is at the middle point or at the center of these two wheels. So these two wheels are coaxial. So how to take this moment? So moment that means force multiplied by perpendicular distance. Now I will show here the axis in the form of dash and dot. So axis is passing through the center. Now if we observe here is the point. Now how to take the moment of this W by 2. So this W by 2 distance from this center is equal to capital D divided by 2. Now if I take the moment then this W by 2 multiplied by this perpendicular distance capital D by 2. Now what is its a direction. So if I move the compass about about the center in the direction of W by 2 then it is in 
this direction that is in anti clockwise direction now for this anti clockwise direction we will consider one sign that is positive or negative now if the second w by 2 if i move the compass in the, that direction about the center then it is in clockwise direction now for effort p if i move the compass about the center then this effort p also in clockwise direction so if we observe this w by 2 this p is in opposite direction to this w by 2 so we can add these two moments in the same direction and which is equal to moment of this w by 2 now we will take this w by 2 into capital d by 2 is equal to now this w by 2 into perpendicular distance from the center so it is small d by 2 because this w by 2 starts from the smaller v plus now this p so if we observe here is the perpendicular distance so this perpendicular distance is equal to because it starts from the larger wheel it is capital d by 2 so plus p into capital d by 2 now we have to find out velocity ratio so we will consider this is the ideal machine so in ideal machine we know that mechanical advantage is equal to velocity ratio so we will uh, simplify this so here is w by 4 and here is also w by 4 so i will take this term to the left hand side so it will become capital d minus small d and outside the bracket w by 4 and which is equal to p d by 2 now mechanical advantage is the ratio of w by p so here is w now i will take p to the denominator and i will transfer all these terms to the right hand side then w by p is equal to mechanical advantage is equal to 2d divided by d minus t but this is the ideal machine and therefore velocity ratio is equal to 2 capital d divided by capital d minus small d so this is the formula we have to use to calculate velocity ratio given question a western differential pulley block of diameter 500 millimeter and 200 millimeter is used to lift a load of 500 newton find the effort required if the efficiency is 60 percent let us understand the given data now the diameter of the pulley block is given 500 millimeter and 200 millimeter so we can say that for larger wheel capital D is equal to 500 millimeter and small d is equal to 200 millimeter. Weight W is also given 500 newton and efficiency of this system is 60 percent. And we have to find out effort P. Now we will first find out velocity ratio. So formula is 2D divided by capital D minus small d. So it is equal to 3.33. Now efficiency is equal to mechanical advantage by velocity ratio and mechanical advantage is the ratio of this load and effort. So we will take this efficiency 60% that is 60 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.6 into velocity ratio 3.33 is equal to mechanical advantage that is W by P. Now this W is given 500. So what is the unknown term P that is the effort applied is equal to. So if we simplify this we will get 250 Newton.